That is literally s'mores fries, is what that is. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Reese. Hey guys, how's it going? Vicky's fingers. Well, that's they are fingers. absolutely incredible. Off the fucking chain. You're gonna bleep that out, right? <laughs> I'll definitely bleep it. <laughs> I'm here in New York at a place called Sticky's Finger, Sticky's Finger Joint. Uh, they do um, fried chicken, as you can imagine, and also s'mores fries is what I've ordered, which is like fries but s'mores with, I assume, like chocolate sauce and stuff. I saw on a BuzzFeed article or something, so I figured I had to come. Um, basically, on this trip, what I've been doing is uh, a training really hard at these really hardcore gyms for like freaking hours. So there's option like part A. And part of it is I've been following a kind of pseudo if it fits your macros kind of approach to dieting. So I'm on holiday, I want to experience the culture and you know the food, try loads of different things while I'm out here. I've been to New York before, I know some places that are really, really good. I don't want to be eating just like boiled chicken and broccoli all the time. So what I've done is on uh, the macros app that I use, I've tracked and made sure that I'm getting you know post workout carbs and things like that, but maybe I do it with a donut or a burger as opposed to a protein shake and honey and Greek yogurt, for example. So I'm just kind of flashing up on the screen right now. There's a place called uh, JC Mellon, which is a bar up on the Upper East Side, which does legit the best burger I have ever had in my life, and I'm pretty sure it's the best burger in the world. Um, I'm gonna have them flashing up. There's a steak, great pizza place I went to, which had like a layered pizza, so it's like stuffed pizza and then pizza on top, insane. Um, went to Carlo's Bakery, which is famous on the Cake Boss TV show, and got some stuff from there. Um, but yeah, believe it or not, I've been macroing it in, and uh, I have gone over it, so I'm, I'm cutting right now, so I'm not, I've been struggling to hit cutting macros, been going between three and 500 over my sort of cutting macros but still staying kind of within maintenance. Um, I mean, certainly sub 3,000 calories a day, give or take. Um, so if any fat gain that does occur will probably be minimal. I mean, if anything, this is gonna boost up my metabolism a little bit, and uh, when I get back on it, on the cut, uh, maybe start a bit of a carb cycle, I'll be able to get into that. You know, when I left, I was 6.5% body fat, so really rev that up, and uh, I'm aiming for maybe, I mean, we'll see, maybe 5%, 4%, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, what we can do. But, um, yeah, it's been absolutely incredible, insane food. I'm going to show you the s'mores fries and see a Sticky's joint. They've got these dollars all up on the wall, so I'm going to post up the address and you can see there'll be a Tom Nil Fitness dollar up there. So uh, let's, do, let's say something like if you take a picture with it and uh, hashtag me, like tag me, I'll uh, give you a copy of the Hunter Abs Method or like a month of coaching or something like that. We'll figure it out. I haven't decided, but I'll put it there. I'll put it there. See, in terms of post-workout carbs, That is literally s'mores fries, is what that is. It's exactly what it says on the tin. My friend Reese has a, a uh, website that reviews fried chicken joints. So I'm gonna plug that as well. Reese. Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, what's the fried chicken? We've got some fried chicken here. It's the uh, regular Sticky's sauce. Sticky's fingers. That's they are fingers. absolutely incredible. Off the fucking chain. You're gonna bleep that out, right? <laughs> I'll definitely bleep it. Um, yeah, so. Let's, uh, let's get in on this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This, this should not work at all. Look at this. Ugh. Look. This should not work at all. But it really does. God bless America. I was like graham crackers in there as well, look. My God. Not an abomination. But, you know, it was leg day today. I guess my point is, it's always possible to like go on holiday, have a good time, and do delicious stuff like this. Because what you don't want to do is have like a bad relationship with food and like a uh, start of binge cycle, you know, just like, when you get the chance to try some crazy stuff like this, go ahead, but you don't have to go overboard and you can kind of make it make it fit, make it work. Um, I don't recommend if it fits your macros like all the time, like just get using your number one carb sources, freaking Pop-Tarts and small fries. But you know, for a week in New York, 
trying stuff out. Great idea. <laughs> it's really good as well. It's going on the ball. <laughs> 